So now we'll see about mathematics demo. And online guys are also there, I think. Good afternoon, everyone. Those who are in online. Sorry for a little bit late. So I'm also uh, the tests are going on. So they have some doubts, I'm clearing that. Uh, now we'll see about uh, uh, any optional demo, not just mathematics, how to choose an option. Optional choosing is very important. Optional, uh, why it is important, that I'll tell you. Uh, now, not just mathematics optional, choosing any option. That is the most important. In UPSC civil service examination, 500 marks is dedicated for option, any option it may be. Whether it is Tamil literature or English literature or sociology, political science, pop bad, anything. Anything, any optional will weightage will be 500 marks. So choosing that will play a key role. So what are all the things which are there, which are required for this? That we'll see. Now, you see, uh, optional or uh, way, when this optional will be coming into picture means when you write mains examination. After clearing the prelims, while writing mains, this comes into the picture. Any optional will come into picture only at that time. So, uh, so in mains, what are all the subjects are there or how many papers you need to write? If you see compulsory papers, like uh, one uh, native language paper, any state language paper you need to write, and one more is English. Those marks are not considered. You need to, uh, you need to get one third marks in that. Means for 300 marks, if you get 90, it's over. Then only your remaining papers will be corrected. Otherwise they won't be corrected. Some people will, losing, uh, will lose even in that. Especially in native language, that is mostly here it is Tamil, it's there. Even in that, you'll be losing. They won't clear that also. 70 or 80 or 85, they'll come and they'll stop. So even that is important. Don't neglect that also. Whatever may be the native language. Next. Um, next part, most important part is essay paper. Essay paper will be having 250 marks. You need to write two essays. Two essays you need to write, it carries 250 marks. Next, four GS papers you'll be having. Each paper will be carrying 250 marks. So four into 250, it is 1,000 marks. Totally 1,000 marks. And optional, two papers you need to write, 500 marks. So totally, how, many, how much it is? Seventeen fifty. Total it is seventeen fifty. In that, how many marks are dedicated for optional? Five hundred marks are dedicated for optional. Okay. Now here, choosing of option is important. Why it is important means in essay you can score good marks. In paper four you can score good marks. That is GS paper four. This contains ethics. It is ethics paper. In that paper, you can score good marks. That is 50 plus 250. So one more, 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. So how much happened? 1,500. Right? In mains, whatever you want to score, you can score only in these two. In remaining G, three GS papers, how much ever you try, you won't be able to score more than 300. Out of 750, you can't score more than 300. That is a toughness related to mains in the mains point of view. You're getting the point. Out of 750, scoring 300 is very high, highest mark. Those who are in the top five or top, uh, top 10, they'll be getting that around 300. That is very tough. Even scoring 250, 280 is also very tough. So in mains, optional will, will play a key role as well as essay and ethics. Are you getting the point? So, sorry, optional essay paper, 250, 250, sorry, 500 marks. 500 marks, totally it is 500. So in this 1000 marks itself, you need to score more marks. In that, if you can score very well in the optional, then you have high probability to get a good rank. Otherwise, your chances of getting selected will be less. 
that's why choosing of an optional is very 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 important don't choose any optional hurriedly don't choose any optional based on your friend's opinion don't choose any optional based on your brother or sister's opinion or any other teacher has said that don't choose like that choose an optional what are the three main things which are required to choose any option what are the three things one is availability of material material means here books or tests uh, tests will you whether tests are there or not those things next your interest your interest that is a main factor next one is third factor is whether you have any mentor or guide like that like a teacher if you don't have any of any one of these then it will be tough for you if you you are doing somewhere you might get diverted somewhere there should be someone to guide you you should not go in this way to take a turn then you will reach your destination like that for example your room is there everyone came inside but after that door is closed at one place door is kept other place door is kept so if you don't know the door what you will do you need to go out what you will do you will touch each and every part of the wall then you will find it by the time your six items or nine nine items will be over instead if some person is there don't go don't touch this left side uh, left side wall only touch the right side wall and that two back side wall only you touch it your effort will decrease that is where the guide will play a role that is teacher or anyone mentor teacher anyone able to understand next if the material is not available you, you, you know the subject you are interested in the subject but material is not there if material is not there what to um, uh, upsc questions won't be like normal like school level questions or li like that it will be a little bit higher level it won't be like uh, bsc level also degree level it will be little bit higher so how to choose how to practice those there you need to have the material if you have the material it will help you got it next third thing is test series regularly for every unit you need to write the test otherwise you won't be you won't be able to do anything different dimensions of the test you uh, different dimensions of the topic you'll be getting only in the test if tests are not conducted it will be tough different in different different dimensions upsc will ask the questions it won't be like your academic examination you have read this topic so this question i can explain it won't be like that forget that any option for any option and one more is interest interest uh, i like tamil literature i like tamil literature but i am not interested interest means what uh, what is uh, what is the thing i need to uh, take means even when it is tough i should be able to, from inside i should I, i should get that feeling that i need to read that if that feeling you won't get na it's not possible to complete because 500 marks comes from this that interest plays a key role these three factors will play a huge role in choosing any option not just mathematics any option keep these three factors in mind and then choose option don't choose any optional blindly now we'll specifically come to uh, mathematics option or what are the different options are there that we'll see first now these are all the different options which are present in upsc totally 48 subjects are there in this 48 you need to choose one subject so choosing uh, they are making choosing also this much stuff from 48 you need to choose one uh, when five questions are there if they ask you to choose a uh, three questions mean you will easily you will choose but they are giving 48 subjects and they are asking you to, to choose only one subject means how much tough it might be how much difficult it might be or how much uh, weightage that option is uh, taking you able to understand that so choosing of an option is very important so what are the different options are there totally the humanities options social sciences or humanities options 
in this humanity it's optional you will have political science pubat sociology philosophy psychology law economics geography those all those next science options all the science option like in, including engineering medical basic sciences commerce and management commerce and management now this year result if you observe uh, top ranker uh, from which option Pol political science political science is in which in which category you observe humanity second or second rank second rank from commerce commerce like that if you see top 25 ranks top 25 only i'm taking in that 18 ranks are from these options 18 ranks are you able to understand this means it's a diversity is increased previously five years back or 10 years back uh, those who have chosen humanities option they used to get those who have chosen literature option they used to have got but now diversity got increased from science option they are scoring a number of ranks are more in the top 25 15 to 18 ranks are from just from the science it include commerce it might be science pure science objects uh, subjects include maths physics chemistry zoology botany anthro agri these options next in this uh, commerce and management yeah medical science even mbbs mbbs even this option is uh, gaining momentum nowadays one more is electrical engineering this year almost third or fifth rank some rank in the top uh, five one rank is there from electrical engineering everyone will feel that uh, engineering options uh, no one will choose nothing it will become but this year it is not just one this year almost like 10 or 15 guys got from electrical engineering even the last year it was like that so diversity got increased in the optionals from here this area large number of people are coming out this next literature options are there there are 26 literature options 26 are there so uh, those who are up to 10th those who have studied in that medium if you choose that then you will have a good advantage that i get you should be able to write in that particular language that is a main important thing after 10th can i say that uh, you didn't wrote any tamil words can i say that try writing a movie name at, at least how many mistake it will be there and show it to your mother or father they will first scold you forget about the examiner someone first your parents will scold you so, means after 10th you didn't wrote that native language paper native language you didn't wrote it because you took science optional science subjects or some other subject you took it's uh, it's not not that much use at that stage you but now literature options even literature options uh, guys are scoring good marks means ranks they are getting all the literature all the literature option all are good options so these are all the 48 options in that you need to choose one option so while choosing this one option keep those three conditions in your mind then choose the option okay now we'll come to specifically for mathematics option specifically for maths option what are the things are there that we'll see so this is three steps to choose an option that i that i told in a different way i gave that one is filter go through the list of all the subjects then you need to choose one next evaluate how you will evaluate once look at the syllabus all the syllabus whatever it is there in every option then look at the previous year questions also whether you are able to understand anything at least question at least a question you see if you are whether you are able to understand or not then it's okay that is a value then you choose there you need to choose are you getting the point you are choosing what is whatever the three points i said those three points from here 
first do this part filter you need to do evaluation you need to do then you need to choose while choosing keep those three points in the mind then you choose that option any option whatever option you like you choose it but don't choose any option that your friend said um one uh, x subject uh, x option high marks are coming don't choose any option that that uh, x subject will be taking only two months to complete don't choose any option that x subject less amount of stress is required to write less amount of time is required to prepare D don't go with that any optional will take any optional will take four and half to five months any option no option will be taking we, no option will be completed within two months or three months it's not possible they have arranged the syllabus in that way getting the point if that is a, if if any option can be completed within two or three months everyone will choose that option only na why they will go for electrical engineering or science optional or some other optional everyone will choose that so none of the option will be doing that every optional some easiest part is there from tough part is there no optional is there that entire or that option is easy i think even literature option also like that none of the option don't think that it is everything will be easy which everything you know none of the option will be like that able to understand this so keep these three in the mind next why mathematics optional now we'll go with why we need to uh, why what are the advantages or uh, what are the speciality or features with the mathematics option that we'll see in this few uh, three things mainly which i want to highlight is one is objectivity next one is certainty and next one is scoring part this three part i'll highlight so what is the objectivity here objectivity means what is the objectivity um, for example you have you have written one uh, you have written one answer and your friend has written one more answer um two answers are there method might change method might change but the approach um, for both the answers is correct and final answer little bit some mistake something might have happened but almost same so you'll be getting good marks you'll be getting good marks that kind of thing won't be present in social sciences optionals that objectivity won't be there if you have, if you have written one answer if your friend has written an answer that interpretation will change there the difference will comes that's why scoring more than 300 marks or 250 marks in g3 gs topics is tough Are you able to understand this why i said 3 in 3 gs topics why to score, why it's not possible to score more than 300 marks is this one you might think in your in one point of view your friend might think in a different point of view but the same question that is not possible in mathematics it's not at all possible is it clear next point certainty will be there for example you attempted a 10 marks question your uh, your answer is correct your presentation is perfect your method is also correct then what, how much you can expect means either 8 marks or seven marks if your presentation is not that much good you'll be getting seven or six marks or if your presentation is good everything you'll be getting eight marks so certainty of marks is there mark certainty is there that is not present in other options are you getting the point because your interpretation it will differ maximum marks for 10 marks it will be for social science especially it will be 6 max if it is good answer means so certainty of marks certainty of marks is there understood this are two biggest advantages with this option mathematics option third thing is it is totally static syllabus nothing uh, when you are writing the answers na when you are solving no current affairs is required you do it's not required to bring manipur issue or supreme court or any report it's not at all required totally static syllabus this syllabus is framed 40 years back in 1979 1979 this syllabus is framed 
from that time onwards it is going on in 2008 little bit small uh, syllabus little bit they have rearranged it that's it but mostly syllabus is this only totally static syllabus nothing no current affairs is required whatever the current affairs are, which is happening in in the outside world is not at all required to bring this while but when you are writing gs answers if you are unable to keep the current examples you won't get marks here yeah, that is not at all required understood next this is extremely high scoring this is certainty of marks i said it is very high scoring why it is high scoring i'll show you uh, uh, some of my students uh, mark sheet then you'll be able to understand next here one more important point is it is not required to start from scratch for example up to 11th or 12th class you might have done mathematics like matrices you know from there itself it will be there numbers you know equation you know from that it will be starting but for example if you choose geography or some other from scratch what is an equation from there you need to go from scratch you need to study like a b c d from there you need to study that effort gets minimized that's a one more good advantage with this and one more is um, why most of the people won't get in gs this uh, 300 marks about 300 marks is writing style if you if you won't keep uh, current examples you won't be getting if you won't keep subheadings you won't be getting if you won't uh, write the relevant data or report or anything you won't be getting but and that also even writing should be good but here writing is not at all required because it's totally equations are there totally equations nothing is there writing style won't matter what matters is presentation don't confuse again presentation with writing style presentation is different writing style is different what do you mean by presentation i'll tell you next one more point which i have missed out is fun why this fun part where, where it will come means uh, after clearing prelims before writing mains time period mostly it will be from 90 to 100 days or 110 days this year it is almost like 108 or 109 days this year but generally you won't be getting this much time also 90 days generally 90 to 100 days in that 90 to 100 days most of the time you will be reading about gs only that 750 marks only there you won't score more than 300 na that only you will be concentrating right there whenever you get bored totally with the uh, with the current thing or whatever is happening whenever you get bored open this mathematical equations it will relieve your burden mental burden that there it will be very good at the main point of your main point of preparation um this three months whatever after prelims main point of preparation if you prepare for two or three hours for optional this optional it's enough for other options or gs or anything you can dedicate that that gs part the time you can dedicate for gs that much time you won't be getting in other other optionals also even for that you need to keep the current examples when stressing about the examples current 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 means this one only because your static syllabus totally equations are there manipur issue is not required here or supreme court judgment is not required here or some mathematical equations they, they might have developed it is not at all required here are you getting the point totally static syllabus so these are some um, advantages or uh, you can say uh, which are uh, favoring for mathematics optional next every optional i said it won't be same every optional won't be easy some something will be there in that what is the toughness or what is the myths associated with that 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 part we'll see before going to this we'll see about who all students can take this mathematics option who all can take whoever has done bsc or msc max close your eyes and you can take this closing your eyes you can take because 80% of syllabus which is there in bsc and msc max it is there in this depending on the universities it is near to 90 also 
but 80 percent i can say it is yes next next important category of the students will be from gra engineering graduates all engineering streams in the first two years of your engineering stream you will be having mathematics that it is covering almost 60 percent of the syllabus almost 60 percent of the syllabus is there here next who all other students can take up to plus 11th and 12th class whoever has done with mathematics that is 11th class 12th class or intermediate who has done with uh, mathematics and those who have genuine interest in mathematics the, all those guys can take means after uh, plus one plus two you may, some students might have gone for physics or some students might have gone for agriculture if you have genuine interest you can take this why i'm telling this means um, that before year and even last year also my students list is just the completed before batch one uh, one girl took the option from psychology bsc psychology she has done nowhere max is related but she is she is having good interest up to 11th or 12th class she took this option before that in that option itself um, one guy almost like a two or three year the three attempts he has given with tamil literature he is unable to score more marks he changed the optional then he took this is an engineering graduate but he prepared with tamil literature since he is not able to score more marks he got into this he changed next um, one agriculture student one coimbatore agriculture university is there na? from there one student came he he joined that before year two years two years prior to this around covid time or before covid time uh, he took that and he got selected also agriculture student bsc agriculture student and if two twins were there those who are done with geography optional three times two times they have written mains two or three times they have written mains since they are not able to score more marks in that they change the optional then they got they both got selected so it's only the interest if you have genuine interest in the subject you can choose this optional up to 11th or 12th class if you are done mathematics and you have scored well or you, you might have inter good interest in that then you can choose the optional because from basics will be dealing whatever the unit will be dealing will be from the basics from the scratch will be going we won't be taking uh, directly from the engineering level from the scratch from there we'll be taking up the subject so entire mathematics whichever you have done till now from first class up to this everything will be done from scratch it will be done don't think that i don't know this uh, laplace transform i don't know this everything from the scratch will take it don't worry anything about that next so uh, telling all these things there are some myths associated with maths there are some myths um, you might um, before coming to this option uh, this uh, demo also there might be your roommate uh, saying that where you are going means demo means you might have what demo or subject demo mathematics if you have said oh you want to choose mathematics that question might have arised or if you were, if you went to the tea shop or anything some gurus will be there those who have done with the two or three attempts you have done with other optional they didn't say they are unable to so clear the prelims and all those things they'll give this free suggestion they'll give that yeah you choose this optional you choose this optional you uh, read this material that material they will tell they may, uh, if you come across that they will be telling don't choose max because they don't know about the subject they didn't wrote mains whoever has written with may, mains with this optional never you will get a negative feedback you won't get any negative feedback with this optional because they know they know what is the advantage with this option this year there was one student uh, five prelims five four prelims he was not able to clear continuously four prelims he was unable to 2018 student actually is i taught him in 2018 four prelims he has written he was not able to clear last year uh, th this result came so this year he got selected 
got selected he got can you can you tell what is his rank all india 60 rank 60 in that in that mathematics was um, his score in mathematics is 312 his score is 312 and so you might think that in all the four years he might have practiced nothing after the classes he has done two months for doing the previous year questions then he closed it totally he invested in gs only after clearing the prelims again he asked what to do sir i didn't prepared anything for the last three years whatever you had done the previous year questions na do once practice that and read the notes what are the problem you had done in there that's it it's not required once you complete this previous year questions and the class notes you can close the books whenever you clear your prelims at that time you can open the books nothing will change even after 10 years if you clear the prelims at that time you open it it will be same syllabus will be same important questions will be same like that only same format will be same Are you able to understand this so that, that's a huge oh, from where from whom you need to take the suggestion is those who have attended the interview or those who have uh, uh, wrote the mains examination two or three mains take suggestion from them don't take suggestion from those who didn't even clear the prelims are you getting the point if you choose from them they they are unable to do, clear the prelims what the suggestion they can give it to you so take suggestion from them choose them, them as your mentors not these guys okay so what are the myths associated with this mathematics optional that we'll see the common myths which are present in this uh, in this uh, total uh, upsc preparation what are the uh, what are the total um, myths as uh, myth i'm saying not the disadvantage myth i'm saying what is that myth and how why it is not a myth i'll tell one myth is syllabus with the syllabus two things are there two two things are there one is uh, syllabus is huge syllabus they are saying large uh, huge amount of syllabus is there next is this syllabus is not at all related with the gs with the syllabus part these are the two myths associated with them so huge syllabus one first will decode that huge syllabus whether it is a huge syllabus or not in order to complete this max optional i'll be taking around 5 months to 5 and 1/2 months if it is a weekend batch i'll be taking this amount of time 5 months to 5 and 1/2 months any optional will be taking any optional not just this mathematics optional any optional will be taking in between this 4 to 5 months if that syllabus is less it should be completed within 3 months na before four months na are you getting the point optional time maybe one month might be extra max we can say one month extra but duration is same duration is same are you getting the point next whether it is genuinely having a huge syllabus now we'll go to huge syllabus they are saying na huge syllabus what is the syllabus actually in syllabus we have only 13 units only 13 units and syllabus is also clearly demarcated then why it will be taking this much time because practice we need to do na for mathematics for that purpose it is taking more time for uh, social science optional or other optionals you won't do you won't be doing problems na just a theory part only will be there daily you won't do the problems so in order to get a practice of more problems will be taking more amount of time that's the reason in each topic here will be taking almost like for each unit i show uh, almost like in one unit almost 100 or 150 problems will be doing so every model what upsc has asked what upsc is asking in the at the present stage what upsc is going to ask in the future all these three scenarios will be taking and will be doing the problems 
previous year questions will be doing at present what, what is the trend of upsc is there in future what kind of questions UPK, upsc can ask that's why it is taking this much amount of time clear so that is a thing with which is present with huge option other thing there is no role of this option in gs yes there is no role of this option in gs if you take um, like a political science for bad or uh, any other optional social humanities option, especially humanities options, that role is present in GS. That role is present. But even those optional, those who are taken those optionals, even those students are unable to score more than 300 marks in GS in those three papers. If that role is more, if they are feeling comfortable in those, and if you are if they are very good at those, they should be able to score more than 300. Na? They are unable to score more than 300. So, even if the role is present or role is not present, it is not making anything in scoring pattern. Are you getting the point? One more advantage with this optional, uh, with the science options, not just with this, any science optional is while uh, preparing for mains, before, before mains, this optional time required will be two hours per day, two or two and a half hours per day. But for other optionals, almost like four hours you need to prepare for the optional itself, three to four hours. So that two hours or one hour which you get, you can invest in GS. That role is not there, na? you can invest in that. Rating, why it is called a myth is because of this reason. This is a myth. It's not a disadvantage, it's a myth. Next, there's no role of GS. Next, one more thing is, sir, Mathematics means maths or physics or chemistry. This means only uh, huge intelligence or high brilliance, only those guys can take. Nothing is there like that. There's nothing like that. Those who have taken geography optional, they have changed it. And they are able to score. They are not from IITs. They are not from top institutes. Got it? So, why this, uh, why this uh, myth came? Why this myth came means again this because of this guru zone. Since they don't know about anything about the max option or any science option, not only this max option, any science like physics, chemistry, or any other option, zoology, botany, they don't know about that. They'll give, don't choose that. Only uh, those who have done uh, MBBS, they can choose botany or zoology. Those who have done uh, from IITs, uh, uh, BTEC, or anything, they can choose max, physics, or chemistry. There's nothing like that. Are you getting the point? With the zoology option or even with the botany option, those who are not from MBBS category, they have, they have done and they got the rank. This year also one student from zoology or botany, uh, in the top 10, one ranker is there from zoology or botany. I didn't remember exactly. Um, lady she is, she got botany, I think. Botany, I think. She got it. She's not an MBBS graduate. So that you need to keep in the mind. So it's not just for IIT. It's, it's, you should not be like a topper in the university also. It's not required that also. If you have genuine interest, if you are able to do hard work, per day, if you are able to invest, um, when the class are going, if you are able to invest one hour or 45 minutes, when the classes are going per day, it's more than enough. Per day. Classes will be on weekend. From Monday to Friday, if you are, you need to invest around 45 to one hour, 45 minutes to one hour. That, that amount of effort you need to do. If you are not doing that, no optional will give. Not only this, any optional won't give. Even literature optional won't give. That little bit effort is required. Next, others. What are the others? Others here is mainly this category where uh, most of the students will ask a question also is, sir, in 10th class or 12th class, when I attend mathematics, I used to get 100 out of 100. Now this paper is for 500. Anyone got 500 out of 500? That won't happen. Not, uh, not only this, even any science options, you won't be getting that. Why means? Why? What is the reason means? If you get 500 out of 500, Social science optionals, they won't be scoring more than 250 or 270 itself. There should be some evenness should be there. Na? Comparison should be there. Na? So everyone will choose this type of option only. 
those who have done BA history also, they'll choose this type of option. They won't study BA history at all. But we need to learn about our history, geography, and all those things. So to bring everyone in the common field, it, they won't be giving 300, 500 out of 500. So how the, uh, what is that called as scaling? It is called as scaling. In UPSC optionals or in GS or anywhere, scaling is there. What is that scaling means? For 10 marks question, maximum you'll be getting either eight or nine marks only. You won't be getting 10 out of 10. This is called scaling. One or two marks, they'll deduct it. Are you getting the point? In mathematics, till now, what's the highest score means? 365 out of 500. This was the highest score in 2019. 2019 or 2018? Exact year, I didn't remember, but in that in the two years, one should have got. So anyone, any guy scored near to that means one of my students scored 352. One more student's code, 346. And most of my students scored near to 320 or more than 320. Most of the students. This year, we got um, uh, three students of my got selected. In that, highest mark this time was 312. That is 68th rank, I said. One more guy uh, is, you. this is a funny thing. Um, one more guy, he got... 302 marks this year with mathematics option. We got 302 marks. In the rank, in the rank, um, I'll wipe out this. I'll show you what is a why this optional played him or why he got selected. I'll show. This year, topper first ranker mark was 1060 or yeah, 1080, sorry. 1080. 1080. Next, second ranker mark was 1060. Second rank. This is first rank. This is second rank. And 426 rank was 960. Four twenty-six rank mark was 960. Means in 100 marks, this many ranks are there. Are you getting the point? In mathematics, scoring, I said, this guy, this guy, those who go, the, is uh, my student, he got this. Three not two marks. That is the last rank in general category. In general category, that was the last rank. So just got selected. How means? By scoring more than 300 in option. If one mark, if you could have got less, you wouldn't have got selected. So, optional choosing, scoring of marks in the optional plays a huge role. Are you able to understand this? Why you need to choose an optional which is of interest to you is because of this reason. If you, if there, if any other, if you have chosen any other optional, 280 will be the highest score, very good score. You wouldn't have got the selected. You wouldn't have got the rank. Or 300 at least if you get. You wouldn't have got selected. Actually, I expected him to score more than 320. After writing the test, I, when I spoke him, he said he'll be getting around 320, uh, uh, the kind of questions he attempted and all those things. But he got less. I expected him below 100 rank actually. But because of a reduction here, uh, almost like 10 to 15 months, he got his rank got the uh, This guy's attempt is fourth attempt. Fourth attempt. He got this rank. This is the last rank in the general category. So choosing an optional, be careful. Whatever option you take, it's up to you. But it should be of genuine interest to you. And some mentor should be there. Tests should you need to write. Material availability should be there. These are the main things which you need to keep in your mind. With respect to max, one more thing will be scoring pattern. If you have interest in scoring pattern. 
How to score max means when we take option at that time. Next, these are some myths associated with mathematics. Next, what is the syllabus part? Before going to the syllabus and all those things, now um, any one of you are having any doubts? If you have any doubts, anyone is having any doubts, means you can ask. With respect to mathematics. Any doubt, whether it may be silly doubt or anything, no problem. That's what coaching, coaching, uh, coaching when you join, you'll get those two. Yes. Uh, apart from this, uh, I'll be giving the notes also. Problems will be doing that. You'll be having. Apart from that, in the once the class starts, Telegram channel will be open. In that soft copy of a book or any material, I'll be sharing that. All that solving what you need to deal that I'll tell. That you'll be getting. Any other? Online guys, anyone has any doubt? You can raise your hand there. Hello, check it out. No one? Hello. Uh, sir, am I audible? Yes, yes. Chirag, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, I had a question to ask you. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, I wanted to understand what would be the difference between the Attempt which gets 365 marks and an attempt which gets 300 marks. Presentation. Okay. It's purely presentation. Pure presentation. I'll show you. For example, those who are getting more than 300 and those who are getting less than 300 in max option only. What's the difference? If 100 people are writing with max optional, with 100, 100 people are writing, 90 people or 99 people will be knowing all the problems. Everyone knows all the problems in the paper. That's how it will be there. So why some people will be getting more than 300? And why some people will be getting less than 300? Means it's just the presentation. So how this presentation will will change that after discussing with the syllabus then i'll tell this presentation how the presentation will increase the mass that I'll tell. any other doubt apart from this i have uh, most of you from engineering bsc max or msc max related anyone from any other background MSc physics same physics okay same everyone physics everything will be covering here online guys anyone from psychology or law anyone like that no one anyone has any doubts with respect to this if, if, Whatever doubt you have, you can ask. No doubt. Can I proceed now? Now, what is the syllabus which is present in or optional? That part we'll see. Uh, our syllabus totally will have 13 units. 13 units are there in paper one, paper two. It's divided into paper one, paper two. This three. It comes under section A. These three yes, comes sir. under section. Yes, yes, ask. Ask your doubt. I am from commerce background. I have an interest in mathematics whether I can clear mathematics. Uh, up to 12th class, what was your, uh, uh, have you done mathematics? Sir, up to 10th class, I have been mathematics, 11th and 12th commerce. From 11th itself, we have changed it to commerce. Okay. 
uh, but you have interest you are saying yes sir oh. uh, once look at that uh, ncert 11th and 12th class mathematics book whether you are able to understand or not that you check it once once you only uh, do you uh, do that exercise for yourself if you are able to understand that na then you can choose otherwise don't choose this okay at least 11th 12th if you know anything about the differentiation or all those na that will play the role once you uh, look at those books thank you right shall i proceed now so in paper 1 you have um, six units those are linear algebra calculus and three dimensional geometry or solid geometry apart from these three you have ordinary differential equations statics dynamics vector analysis these six units constitute the paper 1 in paper 2 you have modern algebra real analysis complex analysis and lpp lpp means operational research those you have done from bsc max next in paper 2 section b it contains partial differential equations numerical analysis mechanics and fluid dynamics so in your bsc level uh, those who have done with uh, uh, bsc max uh, you might not be doing this uh, these two or some universities have this also apart from that every part of the syllabus is there in your bsc max everything is presented bsc max why i said the who who all can choose means all bsc graduates blindly they can choose bsc max graduates blindly they can choose this except these two everything is covered and here your immediately your mind might have gone to computer programming sir do we we'll need to learn java language c language for this don't learn anything it's not required here your computer programming means flow charts and algorithms um uh, twice or once they have asked about basic language basic language only once or twice they have asked now it is they are not asking that so that is not at all this is not at all related with computer this uh, java language c language data structures nothing don't link to that next uh, those are from engineering background engineering background in engineering background you might be doing this calculus little bit ordinary differential equation you might have done vector analysis you might have done uh, this uh, calculus and analysis this part also you might have done little bit complex analysis you might have done partial differential equation you might have done in engineering this topics are there now little bit extra part will be there now engineering graduates what is a new topic for you will be modern algebra this is entirely new topic for you next one is in linear algebra it is divided into two topics one is matrices up to 12th class whatever matrices is there that one and pure linear algebra so pure linear algebra will be a new topic and 3d geometry these things are the new topics for engineering graduates and physics part some uh, like those who are from civil engineering there they will be dealing about statistics also statics also those who are from mechanical engineering statics they will be dealing statics and dynamics so it will be like that 60% of the syllabus you, you have covered everything in the engineering background and those who have done those who have genuine interest in mathematics up to 12th class whoever has done mathematics or you good at mathematics just all that part extension only that part extension only matrices next calculus that differentiation integration that extension only is ordinary differential equation and partial differential equations even complex analysis vector analysis also same only thing what uh, most of the people will be uh, dealing with or new thing which you will feel is physics topics these two are the physics topics static dynamics and mechanics and fluid dynamics these are the physics topics which are present in our syllabus remaining everything is a pure mathematics pure maths this is the entire syllabus why i said about this syllabus means it's not about uh, i i don't it's about uh, this uh, showing the syllabus to you i want to show something how the paper will be there in the exam in the exam uh, each paper will be having 250 marks so this is section a this is section b 
how the question will be there means in paper 1 or paper 2 they will be giving eight questions in that you need to choose five questions only five questions you need to write from eight questions okay in that sub questions will be there in each question sub questions will be there so what is the criteria means in section a i said four questions will be there here one two three four in section b or again you will be having four five six seven eight same thing applies to paper two also in this in this first question and fifth question compulsorily you need to attempt pakka you need to attempt so there is no choice in those two next in remaining six questions out of eight if you remove two only six questions are there so two questions you have already attempted remaining six questions you know how many questions you need to attempt three so you have more choice half of the questions are choice but they have kept one more criteria what is that criteria means apart from the compulsory question you need to attempt at least one question from each section i assume you have attempted second and sixth question how many questions you have attempted totally four one more question that one question is a choice only one question is your choice though it looks five out of eight it's only one question are you getting the point so only one question so by this when uh, scoring marks or anything about math uh, scoring why mathematics and scoring how the scoring is happening more means they know entirely about section a what what are the units are there what type of questions will come from this and section b what type of units are there what will be there so clearly demarcation is there before hand itself before writing the exam itself they will be able to know in section a this type of question you can expect this year from this topic you can expect these questions so they will be knowing this pattern this mind map they will be having students will be having this mind map going into examination there it's not required to search what a white question you need to attempt that is only choosing you will be doing there whether you know this 100% or not if you know that you'll be attempting that question otherwise you leave that question that you will be doing Are you able to understand that this is the advantage with man and these question your questions won't be jumbled from this part they won't ask in section a from this part they won't ask in section b same applies to here also everything is demarcated clear and differentiated clearly only from that in section a only from this section b and this one from uh, paper 1 and this one from paper 2 they won't mingle it reading the point so syllabus point of view it is clear and we have only 13 units paper 1 6 units paper 2 7 units totally 13 units syllabus is not huge it's more number of problems will be practicing because in the examination it should be easy whatever the tough part which is there we'll be handling in the class itself in the exam it should be very clear for us it should be very easy for us for that purpose we'll be doing that regarding the point now this is a syllabus point now we see some of the marks um, who have scored more marks that we'll see so what all you can expect from this uh, optional what is the target generally i'll keep the target as uh, more than 320 yeah, those who are taking max optional means compared to other optional you should be scoring more than 320 then only this optional will be uh, having an advantage to you so from my side what you can get one is uh, every unit will be starting from the basics then we'll going up to the advanced level to the advanced level i'll teach from basics we'll scratch from the scratch we'll go start and we'll go to this one and syllabus will be um, that uh, i won't deal about unnecessary things and all those things what upsc is asking what part of things you need to study only that emphasized tapping will be done syllabus point of view emphasized thing will be there next we'll be discussing about the previous questions and solved questions of will be getting 
five years questions you'll be getting. Solved papers you'll be getting. Of last five years, unit wise, whenever unit is completed or in the, in between the unit, we'll be giving this last five or six years questions you'll be getting that. Next, um, through uh, discussing uh, when, when we deal about the in the class when we are dealing about the problems, there I'll be dealing about the presentation part. How to present an answer uh, for five marks, how to present. Same question if they ask for 10 marks, how to present. If they ask for 15 marks, how, how to present. The presentation part will be discussed. I'm not saying writing. Your handwriting may be different, but presentation should be same. That. And we'll be dealing about the probable UPSC, unexpected, what are the UPSC questions are possible. That part will be same. Next, uh, we'll be keeping the unit wise test. And um, here we'll be dealing about uh, how to manage the time in one hour if you are writing the test. I'll be, you need to attempt certain number of questions, whether you're able to attempt that or not. Those things will be tested here. And like uh, how the UPSC final exam will be there for 250 marks, same pattern of question paper will be done, whether you are able to attempt that or not. And in a prescribed time on prescribed space, whether you are able to complete the answer or not. Those things will be tested here. When the syllabus is going on after every unit will be having a test or one, one unit or two units, We'll be having one test. If it's just uh, two small units are there, means we'll club it and we'll be having one test. If it's a big unit is there, means one test per one minute, like that. And you can get uh, one thing is you'll be getting the notes. I'll be sharing a soft copy of that notes also. Whatever the soft copy that I'll share. Apart from this, you'll be getting the textbooks, soft copies of the textbooks in the Telegram. You'll be getting that. And from my side, what all you'll be getting is soft copy of the notes as well as hard copy of the last five years solutions. In the class, I'll be giving the uh, notes also. For that notes itself, you'll be getting the soft copy. Okay, this is what you'll be getting in the max. But my target is you should be able to score more than 320. Here I wrote 330, but you should be able to score more than 320. That is my target. Those whoever are taking max option, I want that. That is where I target. My target is that only. For that, you need to do. That is my main point. This is how my uh, process will be going on. Next, we'll see some toppers marks and all those things. You see here. For this guy, uh, he got selected. Uh, you observe is uh, essay marks. Essay marks. Next, this is ethics. This is ethics paper. How much you scored in essay? Ethics. One, one, three. So totally how much it is? 120 plus 110. 230? Around 230, approximately. In three GS topics, how much you got? 100, 100, 200, almost like a 270 to 280. 280. 280 out of 750. In essay and ethics, how much you got? 230 out of 500. Are you able to see the difference? Next, in option, you see? How much you got? 162 plus 148. 310 out of? 500. So in the first or second slide, I said, what are, the, what are the areas where you can score more marks? Scoring pattern is like this. Here, if you get less marks in the optional, rank also differs. If you score more marks in the optional, your rank also will improve. You're able to understand this. So choosing an option is very important. And apart from this, essay and ethics also plays a role. Sir, I choose marks. I'm scoring 350, but in essay and ethics, I'm getting only 150. Then I can't guarantee that. You need to score on, an, on a similar range, more than 200, it should be there, 210 or 220, it should be more than that. Then we can say something. But 
those who have written uh, with my experience i am telling those who have taken max option those who have done well in max option they are at least going to interview stage that is guaranteed interview stage is confirmed but to get the rank essay and ethics paper and gs also you need to score it should be more than 252 if you can score in this range then rank is confirmed in this range in three gs topics if you score less than 240 or 250 you can go to interview with max option but rank i can't rank i we can't see able to understand this one mark it is changing you have seen just now 1060 was a second rank 960 was a 426 rank that guy got that guy mark was uh, the, that was a last rank in the general category if one mark if you could have got less you couldn't have got selected so there it changes so choosing an option and writing this thing will play a huge role next this is one cat uh, one of my students paper and one more category in this option you observe how much it is Three forty-two. You got below hundred rank. Why you got below hundred? Because of this mark. He got advantage of twenty to thirty marks here. Because of that, he got that rank. This year, four twenty-six rank. If you could have got around ten or twenty marks, even he could have been in the top hundred ranks. Able to understand it. why i am saying about why i am always talking about more than 320 more than 320 is because of this reason should get rank but if you get rank somewhere in the 800 or 700 it won't be of any use it should be below 200 then only you'll be able to get ias ips or uh, ifs services or it uh, income tax those irs will be getting otherwise you might get around postal or something you'll be getting focus on those below 200 rank or 300 rank then you will be having uh, high chances to get good rank or nice posting um, cadre you will be getting in the home state and good uh, post you will be getting like ias ips those things the amount of doing which your uh, effort uh, if you keep and you get selected into postal and somewhere you get posted in assam or uh, in northeast that it will be useful even that point of view also you need to choose to get are you able to understand this it's not just about selecting where you are getting posting what type of service you are getting in which area so all those things matters these are few examples i am telling so this guy got almost like a, this uh, one more i forgot about this is with max optional in mathematics you can write indian forest service exam also with the same syllabus you can write indian forest service exam this is one of my students uh, he got this is his mark sheet uh, it, before this year uh, his mark in mathematics uh, in ifs optional uh, two options you need to choose 400 marks it's not fine up to its total mark is 400 only this 29 uh, 2019 he wrote the he, he wrote he got around 188 like that in mathematics later on he wrote the test series and all those things then his marks got improved how much you got you see 235 out of 500 sorry up to 400 235 out of 400 the scoring will be good scoring pattern is good in mathematics option so even in forest service you can choose mathematics option so two advantages are there if you choose max option you got all india 16th rank and uh, that 2021 or 22 one more one more student got 49 rank in forest service 
So this is how this is how the marks and uh, this is how the ranks students are getting. But what I'll tell is, you think over it. What optional whether you have interest and in, all those things you choose, then only select an any optional. Don't choose blindly whether your friend or brother, sister, someone has said. Don't take optional in that way. That is not the criteria to choose an optional. So I said, what are all the things you need to consider before choosing an optional? That keep in the mind. Then you choose optional. And specifically related to mathematics optional, I said. Now, if you have anyone has any any genuine doubts related to mathematics, means you can. Like projectile motion, those kind of things. I'll tell you, simple harmonic motion that will be there. Syllabus, I didn't describe it. I'll tell you. No, no theory. Part. All problems only. Writing style won't matter. Writing handwriting doesn't matter. Any other online guys? Which? Okay. Here, I, uh, syllabus is this one. First, I'll segregate the syllabus. I won't uh, start the syllabus uh, like uh, whatever is given like this. I'll segregate the syllabus. That segregation, I'll tell you. This calculus and real analysis, both one at a time will be delayed. Next, ordinary differential equation and partial differential, though we'll separately deal it, but both are one at the same. One is a single independent variable, one is two independent, more than one independent variable. Next, vector analysis and complex analysis. Similar pattern of completion of calculus analysis will be dealing vector analysis and this one. Next, after completion of modern algebra, then only linear algebra will be done. Only after completion of modern algebra. Then a remaining part, it's a, a, a algebra part. So how I'll de divide the syllabus? That part I want to tell. So, so, I'll divide the syllabus, entire syllabus into three. What are those three means? Pure calculus part, pure algebra part, next physics part. In these three subheads, we'll be dividing the syllabus. In pure calculus, what are all the units are there? Means calculus, real answers. Next, ordinary differential equations, vector analysis, Complex analysis, partial differential equation. This six units comes under pure calculus. Next, in algebra, this one, modern algebra, linear algebra, 3D, LPP. This comes under pure linear algebra. Okay. This mix of this pure linear algebra and calculus is a numerical analysis. It's a mix of both. Next, physics units are this and this are physics units. Reading. So how the process will be going on means one unit from the calculus part will be taking one unit from the algebra. Both at a time will be taking. Means in weekend, five or six hours I'll be taking one day. So on Saturday, I show. So three hours I'll be taking calculus, two hours I'll be dedicating for algebra. Two units at a time will be taking. So we'll emphasize on these two topics. Initially, after completion of total calculus, then we'll go for physics. This application of calculus itself is there in the physics. So first we need to complete that. Then only we go to physics part. Any other? Online guys, you ask. No, no, before uh, this one, this, what is this month? It's uh, August. August it will be started. Uh, by December or 15 days, uh, we'll take extra and we'll complete that. We won't take up to prelims. 
December end, I'll try to do maximum. Otherwise, 15 or 20 days extra I'll take and complete out that. Before your Pongal. Unit test. Um, weekdays, unit test will be there. Weekdays. Where weekends, classes will be there. On weekdays, you'll be having after completion of a unit. And that remain in that next week itself, we'll be having. We'll be discussing the time also. The class itself will be doing that. Online guys, if you have any doubt, you can ask. No one. No, you hear you. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Is it clear about optional, any optional or mathematics optional specifically? Okay, then that's it. At the max sir, option. Morning, sir. Yeah, yeah, ask. Sir, uh, sir, in this Wait, option, yeah, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, sir, whether we need to study more theorems in this uh, subject? No. So theorem part, it will be only in modern algebra and a little bit uh, one or two in, is there in real answers. Okay. That theory part is not there. Theory part is not. There. Only problems. Thank you, sir. MSc Max, huh? Might be fluid dynamics. Physics. Okay. Means some universities are having that, some universities are not having that. So only that. Uh, for BSc and MSc Max, almost everything is there except physics part, I can tell. You, you need to choose that. You need to judge that. That almost everything will be covered in. More than ninety percent of the syllabus will is there in a BSA MSc. Any other? Uh, hello, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sir, I wanted to um, know more about the importance of time management in both the papers. How? Um, uh, how many minutes should be spent per question and uh, just the overall gist of it. That you'll be getting when you write the test, I'll be telling that whenever we, uh, whenever the paper, when we keep the test now, there I'll be giving the choices. So based on your writing, whether you are able to attempt in specified amount of time or not, whether you are able to attempt or not, whether you are able to complete within a required uh, here, it will be given space. It will be given in that space itself. You need to do the answer. So whether you are able to do that or not, based on that, then I can read. Before itself, I can't tell that. It it varies from person to person. Okay. So at okay, present, I can't tell to that. Thank you, sir. Right, right. Any other? Compulsory question will be there from these three units. It's not just from one unit, from these three units. Sub, sub questions will be there. Compulsory question will be there from these three units. And so a fifth question won't be from, from this, from these three units, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, if your approach is correct, but end answer is not correct due to some calculation machine mistakes or something, your uh, you didn't got the exact answer. If the approach is correct and uh, if you have done well and if you have used all the theory, whatever that uh, property, everything you have used, but uh, you didn't got the answer. Instead of getting eight marks, you might get seven marks. End answer will be having only one mark or two marks. That uh, your mass is not based just on the end mass, your approach. That is important. Yeah. Same. Scientific calc is allowed. 991 ES or MS? 
but only one uh, condition is condition applies is don't save anything in it difficulty level of the question it will be uh, more than bsc level less than msc level got it it won't be more than pg level below pg level only but above degree level so if you have done btec btec max syllabus is there little bit above that they will be asking question that that i can say no but they won't um, in my experience what i have seen is um, they won't be giving more than 400 in any case out of 500 they won't be giving more than 400 or 450 they won't be giving uh, they everyone will be in that range only max if your presentation is good everything you have done means 380 390 you can get no. scaling will be there means uh, like uh, for 10 marks you might get 7 8 like that that's it Any method you can choose. No key. Here won't, key won't be there. Like in prelims, you'll be getting A, B, C, D, that option, only that one. Here it won't be like that. So your answer is not based, your mark is not just based on the final answer. Your approach. N number of approaches are there. A, with any approach, if you are you are approaching the problem, if you are doing the problem, correctly means you'll get the marks. That's not an issue. Same. Space will be. That is what you need to learn. That you will be learning here. Here, mathematics paper or any UPSC paper, UPSC paper is a function of UPSC paper, not just mathematics. It's a function of two, two important things or three you can take. One is a space. One is uh, time space time and one more is uh, space time it's a function these two generally they will tell these two space and time space means your question will be given if it is a five marks means only in this space you need to attempt one side of the if, if, if you have a4 sheet one of the top they will be giving the question in that bottom, you need to write the for five marks. If it is 10 marks means on the next side of the paper, you'll be getting extra of that. If it is 15 marks means one more page. If it is a 20 mark means two papers like that. In that space itself, you need to complete. If you do any mistake, if you scratch now, you won't be having additional space. So you'll be losing the marks. So choose writing the answer doing the solving the problem you need to be careful all those things will be learned these two space time apart from this there is one more thing is there one more thing by standing here i can tell for 20 marks you you keep the subheadings you keep the boxes at important places fine by standing here, I can tell. But you are going to write the exam and you have just a five minutes time. Keeping all that, it's not possible to complete. So without doing, without keeping all this, you need to complete with the problem first. So even that, that is your mood also matters. It's not just space and time, your mood. Because when the paper, whenever you, it is given like paper two, I assume. Uh, paper two, it is will be paper one will be in the morning, paper two will be in the afternoon. On the same day, paper one and paper two will be there. In paper two, paper two time will be around two to five o'clock. Two to five. That is after lunch. Nicely, you will have lunch, then you will be going to the interview. Around 2 30 or 2 45, up to 3 15, 3 30, it's a peak time for sleep. 
with that mode if you attempt na how that answer will be there you only think about it by standing here i can tell you need to write this you need to write this but you are going to attempt the paper right getting the point so even that you need to manage it's a mode upsc paper is a function of space time and the mode your mode also in tours your presence uh, upsc always plays a mind game what is a mind game means you might have prepared everything for example you are taken this complex analysis complex analysis you have prepared everything you are perfect in that every part of the syllabus you have covered but they'll give but they'll give every year they'll be giving some or other tough question they'll be choosing some uh, some uh, some book they'll be choosing one question and they'll be dumping that question suddenly if you see that and you know that you felt that it's a easiest unit when you see that in my easiest unit i am unable to do so they'll keep you in the pressure then your mind will be thinking only about that from there that pressure will be uh, applied to the other problems then you won't be able to score more marks that mind game upsc always plays you have to come out of that mind game upsc is always a mind game even prelims paper you see it's always a mind game how you handle the paper handling the paper is important it's not like academic examinations in the degree level or btech level whatever the paper means you might have prepared this similar to that you will be getting the question but here it won't be like that little bit extra thing they will be asking how to manage that that will be taught ready those things any other of space means out of eight only five unit attempt those space you can utilize scientific calculus is allowed hmm that much time won't be there that much time won't be there for you only 3 hours time you need to any any upsc paper is that only any optional any gs it will be like that even essay is like that you won't get any extra additional for essay writing essay in that space itself you need to write don't think that i can write 12 or 13 pages for essay don't go like that in that space itself you need to okay okay then thank you this is all about the max option or any option so choose optional very wisely all the best